hey everybody welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications so you can be notified when i post a new video in today's video i will be using my 3xl square no c curve tips from bomb nails also my new favorite cover color which is bubble bath nude and i will be using saucy from the kawaii dreams collection which y'all is coming back out this summer y'all i'll also be using future past from nail reserve and i don't know which is this beautiful pink color also from nail reserve both of these beautiful products i have uh discount codes linked in the description below i will be also using my size 16 kolinsky rush from bomb nails and my 20 millimeter liner also my 3d nails by dev brush which i use to clean up you know my little frenchies and stuff also yes baby we got monomer we have monomer i will also be using my bomb nails ema monomer i love this monomer y'all it smells like freaking it smells so good it has a low odor it's truly like low odor like i have been searching for if y'all don't remember in the beginning of my channel i'm like i want a monomer that doesn't have that overbearing monomer smell and y'all gabby brought it to us right here on this channel right now in real life go to the website check out her website it's beautiful um this bubble bath y'all watch the application with this bubble bath this is one of my new favorite favorite cover colors the way this acrylic leaves it's like a sheer almost like it's like a sheer birthday suit that's what it's like it's the 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 consistency of these new cover colors y'all are just so beautiful and for the price that you're getting them at it's just amazing these are such quality acrylics i am in love i also my other favorite one as y'all know is baddie nude and i am now obsessed with rosita fresita okay these new cover colors are just oh my I'm in love. I'm in love. And you will see why I'm in love as we go through this application because it just lays so perfect. It is just a perfect, perfect formula, y'all. You don't have to wait too long for the for it to polymerize. You know, once you lay it down, it gets real nice and moldable quick. And this is like that sheer, um, it's buildable, but it's also just like a sheer, like you could do such a good, uh, you know how you do the nails where it's the nude transitioning down. I'm going to do one on here with the bubble bath and saucy and y'all are just going to see how beautiful the, the transition from like the nude to the kind of clear base, but not clear base. It's like a, it's like kind of like a ghosty ombre. I'm going to show y'all, um, it's coming up. It'll be the next nail because I do use Saucy, which is the, uh, from the Kawaii Dreams collection, which is coming back out. That was the collection that had, um, Saucy was one of my favorites. Cosmo was the top of the line. Okay. That one is just perfect. I'm actually going to be using that in my next set. Um, and it's just beautiful y'all. So watch this application y'all. I'm not going to ramble through the whole video. Um, I will be back though. I will be back. So let's watch a little bit of the application and yeah, I'll, I'll be back baby. I'll be back.
all right y'all this is the uh finger I'm, i was talking about with the um feeding it down so you take the nude and it's, you could do this with glitters um if you're using glitter so you take the nude you put it up at the top and then you kind of fade it down um not you kind of you do you fade it down <laughs> so anyway that's what i'm going to be doing here um because again like i said i'll be going at the bottom with saucy um when i put my glitter and stuff on but look how this fades y'all down into this um the clear part of the nail it's just so freaking beautiful it was like the perfect oh my god it was just so perfect y'all so y'all it's been a little bit i know i haven't posted on here um, I haven't posted a video in like a couple weeks. I know um, I haven't done my Freestyle Friday in two weeks. I will no longer, as of right now, be doing Freestyle Friday on YouTube. Um, it's just gotten real weird and real toxic on there. So I need to give that a rest. And there's just bigger things out there for me, um, you know, as far as, you know, just reaching out on different platforms. Um, I came on YouTube initially to do just, you know, regular nail content, um, started going live with a friend and really enjoyed lives and interacting with other people. But in the time that I've done that, um, you know, we do our giveaways um, and I will still be doing giveaways on my channel, obviously. Um, and I think I'm going to come back for maybe a freestyle Friday and do a giveaway for all the girls who donated um during the Christmas thing and you know what I'm saying and do one more um giveaway on a live on YouTube because I think I owe that to my girls um also look at this y'all just it gets better it gets better the feed just gets better um but yeah it's become this place where um it's more about like a popularity contest or um it's become this big huge bullying epidemic um I can't even count on my hands and feet how many times people have uh attacked me and the brand that I represent because I'm a BA for this brand and I don't think uh the brand deserves that we're here to do content creation network get to know people but in the in term of getting to know people it shouldn't be this whole big thing where adults are online bullying other people now i've had my moments y'all um on my time on youtube where i've you know i've made uh innuendos on lives or things like that but it's more of a thing where if you know you know and if you don't well then you're shit out of luck you don't um i don't sit there and do that i try to be a very positive person i try to make people laugh i try to entertain i try to give back and i have given back on my platform i think more than a lot of other youtube creators as small as i am um i'm not talking about the big ones who do give away no i'm talking about like really giving back out of the kindness of my heart and really being generous with my platform and you know going out of my way and i'm just the times that I've gotten burnt doing that, I literally have people on here who, who, who I've showed so much love and grace to. I've got people on here, if their drill broke, you know, I was like, you know what, you know, let me get this person this, you know, and, and then for those people, those very people to come on this platform, bully and continue to just be nasty. It's so discerning and weird and I just won't be a part of it anymore. Um, so I have moved on to uh, what I'm hoping is a better platform. Now, will this be permanent? Probably not. I'll probably be back on YouTube. I just need a little bit of time, you know, just to get back into my regular content um, and go network somewhere else. Um, because it's just like I said, it's very small. The nail uh, world is small. And then when you're a smaller creator, it's even smaller. When you're a smaller creator, it's half the people that you know or come in contact with are not even really serious about content they don't even really do good content and they are trying to be creators and things like that but in order to be um, a creator or do this type of creation where you're successful at it or whatever you have to be able to do actual nails 
And I think what happens is um, these people, they come into your life, they think, you know, you inspire them to be a creator, but not everybody can be a creator. Not everybody can do good nails that are watchable. You know what I'm saying? And when that happens, people tend to get um, weird, they get jealous. And then you have these very small creators who are not serious about content creation, don't have companies really reaching out to them, especially for like acrylics and things like that. And they just get very warped and it gets very hateful. And that's what happens. And then you have a bunch of people who are nobodies and will never be anybody on this platform. Like I have girls who message me, tell me how much they look up to me, how much my story has helped them. And you know what I'm saying? And over time, I have a nice little following. Um, so I do consider myself a content creator. I take my content very seriously. My videos, you know, are an, almost an hour long. I go through them. I have to edit them. I do voiceovers for them. I do real content. I learned from a really great content creator who does really great content. Okay, if you know who that is, you know who that is. I'll never discredit or be a hater to anybody or discredit their work, whether I talk to you now or I don't talk to you anymore. Good content is is good content. And nobody could take that away from any good content creator. But it's as a smaller content creator, it's just been see when you're a bigger content creator and you've gotten up there, it's a little bit different because now you're dealing with people who are very professional about their platforms, who are, um, you know, on here to create content and, you know, make a a living off of this. I think that's where um, I kind of got it messed up because I'm not here to make a living. I genuinely love to do nails. I already have a thing that makes me a living. And I this is a hobby for me. As y'all know, I am an ex-addict. I've gone through a lot of things. So this is a great hobby for me. And that's where I went left on the platform, being so personable with people, talking to a lot of people, trying to be like the nice person. Because I know as a smaller content creator, we don't always get recognized by bigger content creators. So that's what I was initially trying to do, build a community where women can support other women. But in the midst of building that, I didn't make sure that I was actually dealing with real content creators who actually can do content make good content and there's a difference because the people who make good content who are serious about content who put out really good work you're never going to have those issues with them I can tell y'all I stopped talking to a, a content creator um, who used to come in my lives all the time y'all notice people here and there does beautiful nails. She opened up her own little business. So proud of her. We we stopped talking. Would y'all know we stopped talking? Absolutely not. I didn't mention it. She didn't mention it. She didn't go on a, a two-month, three-month, four-month hiatus calling me names, degrading the brand that I, I'm here for. None of that. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because there's a difference between somebody who's a real content creator and who's here for business networking and doing that and really having doing putting out good decent work and really making it on here not everybody's gonna like I said not everybody's gonna make it on here not everybody's gonna get to 60,000 followers and if it's if for in your mind if it's all about the followers and the popularity contest you'll never make it whether you do good nails or not but that's where the mix messes up. You get mixed in with these smaller content creators who are not really content creators. They're here to do exactly what they're doing, which is cause issues. That's all they have to do. And if you look at the people who do it, you can see that, you know what I'm saying? They're old. They have, I was on a live the other day. This woman had a bonnet and brown teeth sitting in the camera trying to solve some bullshit off of uh, YouTube. That's how, that's how these people, they think they're so important and they are not. This person, I don't even know what kind of content they create, but this person has no content, has no good content, if she does have content. And then she sat on the live um, talking about... Um, Talking about, oh, I, you know, I wish I could do acrylic. I'll get back into it. I haven't done it in a while. So you're not even a nail creator, but yet you're sitting here with a bunch of people who 
think they're creators or think they're influencers on here and do these whack ass horrible videos and I'm going to be honest I'm an honest person um and they all that's how the mix happens because you're dealing with a bunch of nobodies when people are nobodies and have nothing to lose that's what they do that's what they do they sit around and hate on other people okay and also um yeah, so that's why I won't be on uh, YouTube on Friday anymore because I've given a lot of myself to this channel. I've given a lot of self of myself to the people who support me and in turn supporting the wrong people. Not one person on this platform that I have befriended has ever done a thing for me except maybe two people, three people, Okay. Never. I've never been graced. I've never even been asked to go on anybody else's platform. Whether I'm a bigger creator than some people or not, I've never been asked to even do a collab. Yet I put girls on my platform. I've given back in giveaways out of my own pockets every month. You know what I'm saying? And the disrespect that I've received from showing that type of grace and love to people is disgusting. It's absolutely, truly, and utterly disgusting. And when I look at it, I'm sitting here and I'm like, these people that are doing this couldn't even sit at my table. They couldn't even sit at my table. They're not even in my tax bracket. But they're on here destroying and, and bringing and trying to bring a brand down, not leaving this woman alone who, by the way, doesn't talk to anybody. Okay. When I first became a BA for her, the only time she talked to me was when she was sending me PR. That's how to herself this person is and has nothing to do with anything that goes on with the, on this platform with bigger creators or these little small nobodies. It's so sad. So anyway, that's why um, for that. And then I've been going through... Um, um, as y'all know, um, I, me and my brother share a home. We've gone through a lot together. I love my little brother. He's my best friend. Um, he's literally, you know how you have a soulmate on earth. Now a soulmate doesn't need to be a lover. So don't take this in a weird way. A soulmate could be a friend. A soulmate could be anything. My brother is my best friend and it's been my best friend. My little brother has been my best friend all my life. Yeah, he pisses me off sometimes. We get on each other's nerves. But at the end of the day, he's my little brother. And I love him. I've grown up with him. Me and him are like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I When I moved out of my mom's at 18, it was with my son's father. We lived together for 11 years. And then when I left him, I went back with my mom for a month. And then my brother decided to move back from Arizona. So I said, you know what? Why don't we get a place together? Um... And we could save money, buy a house, you know, we'll give it a couple years where we could both buy a house. So we've been together four years now. He's been with me through my addiction. He helped me get clean um, when we had moved in together mutually, not me living with him or him living with me. It was a mutual. We shared a, a home together. This was a mutual thing. Um, it was right in the middle of my addiction. I went into living with him in full blown addiction. So um, he had helped me get clean. And then with my incident, you know, so I've never technically been on my own. Now, have I taken care of a household on my own? Yes, absolutely. For the past 15 years, I've been taking care of a household on my own since the time I was in the time I was 18. I think my son's father only worked for a couple years while I went to college. And once I got out of college and got, you know, a really good job, he stayed home with our son who was disabled. There was a bunch of immigration stuff going on. That's another story for another day. Anyway, so um, I've never really lived alone. You know what I'm saying? And then me and my brother shared a, a home. So I've never been a sole alone person in my home. Again, yes, I've taken care of households, paid all the bills, whatever. That's I don't know if that's not my fear. My fear, I think, is just being alone. Like, I've never been just me in a home. Again, it was either my son's father I lived with 11 years and then, you know, I was in with my mom for a month and then me and my brother got it. So I've never like been alone in my own space. And my brother, as we all know, I've said this on Freestyle Friday, he met a girl. I'm so happy for him. My brother is young. He spent two years in his, in this house, in the room playing video games 
suffering from horrible panic attacks and anxiety. So, you know, he got out there um, and he found a girl that he loves and uh, he has moved out today. He moved out. Now, I just found out about him moving out two days ago. I didn't know he was moving out. The plan was, because I felt it happening, y'all know, y'all been on Freestyle Friday with me, I talk about this all the time, um, you know, he, he, he met the girl, you know, she moved into her place, uh, you know, September, so the minute she moved into her place, he stopped coming home, y'all, you know what I'm saying, and I get it, my brother's young, he's single, he doesn't have kids, like, you know, um, his fiance had passed away, she passed away a couple years back, so there's been a lot, you know, and I'm happy for him, I'm genuinely happy for him, I'm just sad because I didn't get time to process my brother leaving, me being here alone with my kids, um, I didn't get to process that, y'all, and that, that was taken away from me, I feel, and I'm kind of sad, and mad about it because we, I talked to him about this because I know what it's like to be young and love somebody. If I met a man at my brother's age with no kids and I fell in love and I shared a house with my brother and I would have been out. However, if he was a single father, cause I'm a single mom. If he was a single father, I would have gave him the respect to give notice because I told I've we've talked about this situation a hundred thousand times. And he said, I would never do that to you. I'll give you at least three months notice. And I'm like, OK. And then when th when he met the girl and he wasn't coming around as much, we talked about it. Again, I said, hey, listen, if you're getting ready to move out, you know, how you know, like I've known my brother 32 years. OK, since he came out the womb, I've known this kid 32 years. So <laughs> and in that 32 years, we've been close. We're not like, you know, you see your brother. No, this is my I, this is my best friend. So um, I know him and I know how it is to be young. And, you know, when you can't love somebody. And again, my brother's been alone for what we've been living together what, four and a half years now? And in that four and a half years, he just met this girl five months ago. Yeah, he's been alone. So I get it. I totally get it. However, it was sprung on me, y'all, in two days. It, in two days. And literally now, my whole master bedroom, which was originally supposed to be my room, because me and my brother weren't even supposed to be together in a home this long. It was supposed to be a couple years, and we were supposed to split. But after the incident where, you know, if it wasn't for my brother, I would be dead right now. You know what I'm saying? So I think that gives me a lot of anxiety too. Like we've just been through so much, you know what I'm saying? In life, in real life and living together, you know? So I guess maybe it's an anxiety for me to be alone. I don't know what it is, but it just like, it hit me kind of hard. It hit me kind of hard, y'all. And... And I'm gonna cry if I have to because Toy was... Chris, so, so here we are, Toy. <laughs> <laughs> this is for you, Toy. Uh, yeah, it just kind of hit me hard, y'all, because um, I thought that this person whom I've, I've taken care of, I've loved. This is my little brother, y'all. There was a period of time where he was suffering. My brother suffers from a very bad panic disorder, y'all. Um, and I think he even gave me anxiety. That's how much anxiety my little brother has. But all his life, he suffered from a very bad anxiety panic disorder. And he was debilitated for like a year and a half, y'all. Like he couldn't even leave the house to go to the store. He would have, he would go into distress. And he, his panic attacks are bad. Um, when some people have panic attacks, they have this flight or fight response and their face will go numb. Their hands will go numb. That is your, um your body trying to stop the adrenaline rush that you're having that's going because when you have an adrenaline rush your heart pumps very fast so some people if they're having a bad enough one will uh get their they'll get numb in their hands and feet or their face or whatever and he used to get bad ones um you know and I've just been there and I just think that I deserved not only as a single mother um, as his best friend and as his sister and as the only person will that'll be the because let me tell you something about people it's ne people are never for long term you know there's only certain people in your life that'll be there long term um and I'll always be in my brother's life long term 
literally, you know. Uh, so when it's all said and done, it, I think it just should have been handled very differently. I think we, he should have sat me down. I think we should have talked about it. I think we should have a plan. Because also, remember, guys, um, we had a lot of issues in this apartment. And the plan was, this was the initial plan. Our lease was up in August. So we were both going to have the means to both when our lease is up here, separate. You know, we are paying both. He's paying some of the bills. So that leaves me stuff to, you know, put away or whatever. Or it would be easier for both of us to move and me go into a new place and then him go into a new place. But but it wouldn't be here, you know. So I thought that was the initial plan. We were going to live out the lease together. And then we would we would be looking this summer for new places. Because I didn't want to stay here. I fucking hate this. We all know how much I hate my landlord. That was the initial plan. And he just kind of broke that plan. So yeah, so Saturday... Um, yeah, Saturday I caught him sneaking, moving stuff out. I didn't even know he came. He came while I was sleeping. My son actually told me he came, and I found that out because I was asking a question. And uh, and he hadn't been here in, like, two weeks prior to that. Um, and then I'm like, oh, shit, he was here for real. So I go back, I look at my camera, and I see him. He's moving stuff out. So he knows he was wrong. You could tell when somebody knows when they're wrong, when they can't address you about it or talk to you until it's all said in one. So he's been silent for two weeks. I haven't spoke to him. Um, hasn't come by in two weeks, haven't nothing. And then in the middle of the night when he knows I'm sleeping, he's sneaky. Yeah. That's somebody who knows they're dead ass wrong. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And then last night, uh, he came, was it? Yeah, it was last night. Yeah. Last night he came with a screwdriver. He came in and I just heard a lot of noise going on in his room. And I'm like, is he fucking dismantling his bed? Oh shit. And then after he dismantled his bed, y'all, after this man dismantled his bed, he came out and said, I found a place I'm moving in tomorrow. I'm like, wait, what? So yeah. So it just hurt me as because I'm a loyal person y'all like I could I would never I would never I would have stuck my lease out especially my brother who's a single dad are you fucking kidding me I would have gave so much grace in that move out like there would have been a conversation like you know what I'm saying like and especially because I've been asking I have been asking when you know somebody you know somebody I have been on this earth 34 years okay I know my brothers. I, if every last one of them, I know every last one of them, and I know when something's up. And it was just like for it was it was small things, you know. First, um, you know, he would leave and he would come home, uh, maybe two nights out of the week, and then he was leaving for weeks at a time and not coming back, or he would just pop up, and then, um, what was it? He would leave his work truck here, and he would dry he would have his car over there but he would come back every morning before we both went to work and we'd go get coffee and then that stopped completely happening and he took his work truck from the front of the house and parked it over at her so you know what i'm saying it's been a progression of but i keep asking like every time i see him like hey if you're leaving let me know please let me know because you don't ever want to be and that's how people will leave you to they'll dead ass leave you in the dirt bro <laughs> it's happened to me so many times in my life, yo. People will, that's the crazy thing about humans, dude. It doesn't matter what you do or how gracious you, gracious you are to some people in this life. People are selfish, okay? And there's very few people who are givers and who really are loyal and care. Even your own family, y'all. Even your own family. After this experience, like, I always said I could totally 1,000, 100% sure trust my brother. I don't, I don't, I don't, not after last night. Like, he, if you could do that to somebody, not speak to them, somebody you speak to all the time, somebody you know, it wouldn't have been awkward, it wouldn't have been weird, if he would have told me, I'm a grown woman, I need my space too. I want my, you don't think I want my space? Of course I want my space. I've wanted my space for a long time. 
And I'm happy about this. I am. I am. I'm very happy. I get a nail room out of it, a walk in closet. I get my master bedroom, you know? And I get to have peace and I get to, you know, maybe find love again one day. You know what I'm saying? Without when you live with somebody, especially your brother, you can't bring people. It's weird. You know what I'm saying? You you can't fully be a grown adult and make decisions in your house. You have to think about the other person that's in your house. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm so happy in so many different ways. But I thought I deserved the respect of a conversation, not a somebody walking in my house, dismantling their room, and then coming out and telling me they have an apartment. What if I was a single mother who worked at McDonald's, and I counted on his half of the bills and all of that stuff, and you're just leaving on the first? No, that's not how life works for me. You know what I'm saying? And as a person who shows people love, loyalty, and respect... I don't, I, I didn't, I didn't think that he, I don't, I didn't think that would ever happen like that. I didn't ever think that that would go down like that. You know what I'm saying? Just overnight, no conversation, no, hey, this is what I'm doing. Not two weeks ago, not that I had no idea, none, zero, zilch. I knew that we weren't going to be renewing our lease together. In August, I knew we were both going to be looking for apartments all summer and getting into a new place, and he was going on his own. Yes, yes. Oh, I knew all of that. But I did not know <laughs> that overnight. This, no, I didn't know that. Nope. Had no, had no idea. Um, but I had no idea. Yeah, and I just feel kind of like a little disrespected. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Um, and this, and it's the crazy part is, no, I'm not even going to go into that. Whatever. That definitely needs to be changed. Oh, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it definitely needs to be changed because, you know, that's crazy. You know, you when you have kids, you have wills and stuff and policies. I have policies out the yang. You know what I'm saying? And... I've had these policies out the ying for so long in, in a certain somebody's name because I didn't want it to go to people who would spend it on my children if I go before my children are 18. Because when you do these kinds of like policies and stuff, they tell you if a child's under 18, don't put it in their name because they won't be able to touch it as a child. They, they have to wait till at least 18. So if you have really young kids, don't put it in their names, put it in somebody who's going to take care of those names or at least a portion of it. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know. I did that, y'all. I did that. Yes, I did that. And that person (laughs) just dipped out on me overnight with no conversation. Had something happened to me, would my children have seen a dime? You know what I'm saying? This, you know, it just puts a whole new perspective on everything. You just, it just, it's, it's a sucky thing when you, when you trust people and these people have never given you a reason not to trust them. And then they just hit you with this. It's like, whoa. Because I would never be capable of doing that to my single mother's sister with my niece. You know what I'm saying? I would I would have sat down and talked to her. Let her know this is what's going on. This is what I'm doing. You know. Yeah, the grace is just, you know, the respect. Where, where... I guess I guess I don't deserve respect in this lifetime. Somebody's in this motherfucker is going to give me respect. I'll tell you that because it hasn't been working out. And you know why? It's because I'm too nice of a person. I'm too giving of a person. Too giving, too nice, and I've been like that my whole life. And and it's never gotten me anywhere. Never, not once. Never, not once has it ever gotten me nowhere. It's, it's like, yeah, I think this will, I think this one was the eye opener though, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. But anyway, y'all, we're capping here. We're going to cap in a lap. I don't know if I'm going to put filing in right now. Filing's in, but it's coming up over an hour, y'all, because you know, when you create good content, it's never five minutes. Um, 
so and I like to show you all the whole process you know and this look at this kawaii collection I love this collection this was a beautiful collection because sorry for the rain y'all I just needed to get that off my chest because I have been alone here uh for over a month obviously I have my kids y'all but they're kids oh this set also I was on the phone with Rachel we were having a great time we're gonna do that more because it is fun having somebody to talk to and do your nails because um especially somebody who understands you and who kind of has been through a lot of the same things as you that's also an amazing thing to have because if I didn't have Rachel I would probably talk to children all day and that would be it I need friends y'all I need to get back out <laughs> No, I don't need to go anywhere, y'all. I ain't going out nowhere. I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, y'all. So we're just capping here. Um, I love this. is one of my favorites, this saucy, because it has the butterflies. That kawaii collection was beautiful, y'all. And this will be your chance um, for all of those who missed out on the beautiful cosmic. Uh, is it Cosmos? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's Cosmos. We do have a cosmic blue, too which was part of last year's neon summer collection, which was also really good. I don't know why. I need to use more. I have so many freaking acrylics, y'all. I'm going to be setting my new nail room up. Uh, my brother did leave me. Very, so very nice of him. He left me the plastic thing for over the rug for my chair so it doesn't eat up my carpet. You know, the rolly ones. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get me, baby, a freaking big butt chair. And uh, he left me the sound things in his room. They're like on the walls. So it helps the sound when you're live streaming and stuff. Um, so that's going to be cool. Like I'm so excited. Uh, I don't have to be on this fucking back porch no more. And I just got new stuff like this. You know, it's cool. It's cool. Like I'm I'm glad. You know, it's just I wish I would have had a little nosita. You know what I'm saying? Like, like come on, man. People got to process this shit, especially all that I've been through, y'all. Like, for real, man, I've been through the ringer. If I told you all everything I've been through in my life, you would look at me and be like, wow, how are you seen? Are you OK over there? Yeah, you'd be like, are you OK over there? Because there's no way. There is no fucking way. Yeah, no, there's no way. There's no way. Maybe I'm not okay. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm really not okay, but I no, I'm pretty strong as bitch. I'm okay. But anyway, uh, yeah, man. It's like, damn. Oh my god. Why well, how did I not mention this in this video? Who saw the lamp? Did y'all see the lamp though? Did you see the lamp though? And that's why people be really freaking mad, y'all, because the success and growth of a beautiful company is a beautiful thing. And people freaking hate to see people win. I was with a man who hated to see me win. Anytime I got a promotion at work or got something nice for myself I was proud of, he fucking hated. There's nothing worse than having your own personal haters, man. That shit is crazy. But you, to watch a beautiful brand, I told y'all... One day, I said it, didn't I say this? I said, one day, everything I use will be bomb nails. The only thing I'm missing now is a drill. I have monomer. Um, Obviously, we, you know, I'm using other people's acetone. But everything I use, baby, is bomb nails. I spoke it into fruition. Just watching a beautiful company grow, especially, like, from a kind person um, as Gabby. Um, if you don't know Gabby or watch her videos, go watch her videos um, go subscribe to her. It's bomb nails. Uh, just like the, like it says on the uh, file right there, <laughs> bomb nails. And, uh, she's just the most, uh, beautiful, humble, uh, nice woman you'll ever meet. That's why it irks my brain so bad when people drag that poor woman into, I wonder if she ever thinks back and goes, how did I make this person? Want to be? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Because, when people see people, other people showing you love and that's the first thing they go to. And it's crazy because people and also a lot of people who were close to me think that because they were close to me like uh, and Gabby shared their stuff because she's nice like that. She if you use her product and support 
Um, she will share you out on her Instagram. Like she's very humble like that, you know, and people think they get close to people like that. And then they feel like that they can message them personally and say certain things when it's just out of line, you know, it's out of line to bring somebody else into drama. That's not theirs. That is out of line, you know, um, or try to tell them to tell another grown woman how to, how to act or how to live their life. That's at, that's right there is out of control, you know? So it's just sad, and I feel I feel uh, bad for it sometimes. But they do say if you don't have haters, you're not doing it right, because all successful people have haters, all of them. This is me talking to Rachel right now. I was making a point. Obviously, you see me beat that little uh that little file down. Yeah, if you are not having haters, you're not successful, because one thing, miserable people who have nothing. See, people who have stuff will congratulate you. People who have their own shit going on and people who have their are biz like not even business who just have their own like me. I have my own. I have a career. I have my own money. Everything I have is from me, baby. Nobody can take that away from me. I'll never be a hating ass bitch because what you can have, I can have too. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. We can both have. I don't ever look at it, oh, you got it, so I got to hate you. No, how the fuck did you get that, and how do I get there? You know what I'm saying? Tell me something. Speak some knowledge into me. You know what I'm saying? But no, hating ass crab in a bucket, bitches, they don't do that. They try to bring you down with them. They try to bring you down to the lowest point they're at, which is nowhere. But see, somebody like me, you can't do that, too. You can't do that, too. You can't, because I will always thrive, baby. I will always thrive and I'll always be liked. I'm a likable person. And I'm one of a kind, okay? One of a kind. Look at this shaping. This was beautiful application. The better your application is, y'all, I got to get my uh, application together on TikTok. Every time I go on TikTok, my shit is a... Except that one, the Easter said I had great application, but everyone since then has been a... But we have fun on TikTok. Is it... I do miss a couple people from YouTube, but I do love TikTok. Um, we had a lot more people in our live this time. I think we got up to like 60, uh, something people it said on my stats. Uh, you know, my girls are over there the, working their little thumbs off. We had like 50,000 likes. TikTok's fun. You get more people in, um, who ask you questions about things. It's not all about, I did have some people in there, you, you know, you have people who be like, turn the camera. I've never, those type of people. I feel like, I feel like people who do shit like that are just trying to bully. I feel like they want to, they think like, uh, oh, terrible. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why, why do you want to see my face? We're here for nails. Actually, I've never seen that in a nail live before. I think it was only mine. I think because people know I'm a big girl, they're like, oh, I want to, you know, ah, the fuck I got to turn the, why, what that, what does that, how does that even make sense? We're here to do nails. Why do you have to stare at my face to look at nails? You know what I'm saying? So that guy, it kind of gets weird over there sometimes, but, um, yeah, it's a new platform and it opens up, uh, more broadens, more horizons. You know what I'm saying? Not only for me, but for, uh, bomb nails and this beautiful product. So, uh, that's also another reason. And I need a break from YouTube and the freaking geriatric squad that doesn't leave anybody alone and is on here threatening old women. <laughs> oh my god never in my life y'all have i threatened an old woman never in my life never even thought about it could you imagine could you imagine out on that sidewalk if i had a video of me threatening a 60 year old woman yeah i'm gonna i'll drive across state lines Rah, fix your transmission first dirty finger shut up you know what i'm saying <laughs> oh my god yeah no If I ever get to that point in life, I know it's over. That's how I know. That's how I know I have nothing else left to live for. Not, not, I can't afford acrylic. No, I have nothing else to live for. <sighs> yeah. I have like three packages to send out, y'all. So I have, which I love to do for like my girls on here. And this particular girl should have gotten something from me a long time ago. Probably double of what I've given to people that didn't deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Like this girl has been, 
I have a beautiful box for her here for a welcome to YouTube. I got another box for I have to send shit out, man. But Monday through Friday, I don't get off till four. And I have that one Saturday to make it to the damn post office. And after Freestyle Friday and I'm up till five in the morning, a Saturday morning when I wake up at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, I'm just like, wow, I have an hour to get to a post office. Yeah, that might have to happen next week. So if you are waiting for a special something for me, you're going to get it. And I love you. Just, uh, yeah, you're going to get it. I promise. Okay. I just, uh, we're going through a lot over here, you know? Uh, yeah, but they're here, baby. They're here and they're beautiful. And, um, I wish I wasn't a lazy fuck on Saturdays, but sometimes I wish they had a service where you could give it to the postal people out front and you could just have them call you. Sorry, y'all. I just got an alert that, uh, it asked me if I wanted to use my cellular data because my Wi-Fi wasn't working. I swear to God, if my brother shut this Wi-Fi off yet, I will fucking... <laughs> yeah, it was in his name, y'all. But I think you can have it in two places. I have to get it put in my name. Oh, my God, I got to call them. So much is changing, y'all. So much is changing. That was one of his bills that he had to pay, so it was in his name. Oh, Lord. Lord Anyway, y'all, anyway, we're here filing. I think I might take this out, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's gone. So there wasn't that much of that. Maybe I won't take it out. Anyway, y'all, we're here. We're going to do a little squigglies with these two beautiful, beautiful Nail Reserve products. Um, right on top of this little bomb ziggity. Um, Gabby will be getting more colors in in the future. Um, I was talking to her about that recently. Um, so yeah, we're definitely gonna get more colors. Those fall ones were beautiful. Those were such a cream. Oh my god, those were great. Um, yeah, look at this curly Frenchie. They're getting better. I think I gotta stop doing that line right there, y'all. I think I just gotta come down with the line. You know what I'm saying? Like that line, that's why I gotta go in and clean it all the time. I got that little line. I don't know where I learned that little dumbass line from. Somebody taught me that dumbass line, probably on TikTok. Anyway, anyway, y'all, I'm freaking done here. I've blathered enough. Um, yeah, so enjoy the video. I love y'all. I will see y'all next, probably like Friday or Saturday. I'll make TikTok. We'll be on tickety tock, tickety tock, tick tick, tick tock, tick tock. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I got a Timu haul coming up, y'all. I can't wait to show you this stuff. I haven't even looked. I haven't, I opened the bag for a second and grabbed one thing out of it to look at it and that was it. So I have to do that video, but I want to get this one out first um, because I also got my TikTok video on there and I had to cut that down. It was like five hours. So yeah, I cut it down to two hours, I think. So that's cool. Anyway, y'all, I love y'all. Remember, uh, Nail Reserve and this bomb, beautiful product, Bomb Nails. Everything is always linked down in the description below. We get a beautiful 15% discount with Mom Nails. So trust me, it's amazing, amazing product. You will love it. Um, so I love y'all. I'll see you on the flip side. Um, pray for me this week. I hope my week gets better. I love y'all. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for supporting me. And to all you haters. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking geriatric squad squad up geriatric squad up baby <laughs> all right see y'all later